आई केस सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू वी वर डूइंग पैरल लाइन्स करेक्ट द लॉन्जिट्यूज एंड द लेटिट्यूज वी वर डूइंग सो नाउ आई एम जस्ट ड्रॉइंग इट एंड ऑल ऑफ यू सी द फिगर वॉट आई एम ड्रॉइंग ओके दिस इज अवर अर्थ देन इन द मिडल आई एम ड्रॉइंग वन वर्टिकल डॉटेड लाइन विच लाइन इज दिस Yes, this vertical dotted line at the center is called the prime meridian. What is it called? Prime meridian. Okay, and when where you can see N, that place is called Greenwich. What is that place called? Greenwich. clear now this prime meridian is also called the longest longitude correct yeah and it passes through which place it prime meridian passes through green which and what is the degree what is the measurement prime meridian is 0 degree clear now when we draw prime meridian or when we draw a longitude at the center of the earth it divides the earth into two parts one is your west part and one is your east part correct yeah now if you draw longitude yeah now if we draw longitudes from prime meridian towards your east these are the longitudes we can draw now remember every longitude every longitude 1 1 degree distance is there now first prime meridian is 0 degree then after that the longitude that will be 1 degree then next to it will be 2 degree 3 degree 4 degree and it will continue that way okay yeah so we just go on drawing this way total east side you will find 180 degree longitudes same way on the west side also you will find 180 longitudes clear look i will draw it over here yes so many many till 180 longitudes will be drawn i have drawn few just to show you okay so this is how the longitudes look clear and at the center will be your prime meridian now if you all know kids everywhere the timings are different in india now for example it is 12 o'clock so you will not find the same time in america australia russia you will find some changes in it so how can we know the timings of different different places very simple now look for example take prime meridian prime meridian sun is on the head of prime meridian so what will happen the whole latitude or the sorry the whole longitude of prime meridian longitude that is a prime meridian longitude as sun is on the top the whole longitude will experience 12 o'clock noon what will it experience 12 o'clock noon now if we compare prime meridian with other longitudes we can easily find the timings what how it is it how it is calculated from prime meridian if you go towards east one hour you have to go on adding how much hours you have to add one hour now let's see from prime meridian can you see the first latitude longitude sorry yeah so what will be the time over there if prime meridian is 12 o'clock noon prime meridian the second one will be you just just have to add 1 hour so it will be 1 pm then if second latitude you you come it will be 2 pm third latitude it will come 3 pm fourth it will come 4 pm if it uh, say a fifth latitude is drawn 5 pm so what did we do kids over here if from prime meridian you are going towards east 
each latitude one one hour you have to increase clear that will be the time on that longitude so the places on that longitude will have that timing similarly if you go towards your west kids look now this is your west if from prime meridian first latitude first longitude towards your west what will be the time over here now what happens in the west as you go you have to minus 1 hour for timing what do you have to do kids minus you have to minus 1 hour like from prime meridian towards the west the first longitude if meridian prime meridian is 12 o'clock noon you have to minus 1 so it will become 11 am second longitude if you go it will be 10 am if you go for third longitude again minus so it will be 9 am fourth longitude towards the west 8 am so clear kids from this what did you learn if you go towards your east timings will be increasing by 1 1 hour and if you go towards your west timing will be decreasing by 1 1 hour clear and that whole longitude will have the same timings so this is what about the timings you can understand because of prime meridian now you know kids why we draw now these are all longitudes now i am drawing this tell me what is this yes This is zero degree equator. What is this? Our latitude. Then we draw other latitudes also. Now, as I'm drawing, yeah. Why we draw these latitudes and longitudes? So we can know one place exactly where it is situated. For example, now for example, say India is over here somewhere. on the equator here so how can we find india if we say just it is on the equator to so equator is all the way from here till here how are we going to search out where is india but as we know the longitude we can say between longitude this degree and this degree over here india is clear so we can specify we can easily find a locate a place more precisely because of latitudes and longitudes okay kids yeah so we'll continue tomorrow we'll do about what is standard time okay we'll learn about it yeah till then see you bye have a nice day